Hey guys, and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to be giving you a little tour around uh, Windows 8 and a little and a review. I just got a uh, Windows 8 a couple weeks ago, and so far I haven't any problems with it, other than user error, which is to be expected when switching over to a new Windows. So I'll switch this over to a uh, desktop view. And then we'll start going through it. Okay, now we're on desktop view. And I guess I should start from the very beginning. This is the new style start menu for Windows 8. At first I wasn't convinced on it. I will admit that, but it kind of grows on you apps are cool I really like them the I still haven't gotten all the apps I want this I want to be aligned all up there uh, so where to start how to navigate through this just uh, for Internet Explorer this one I don't find very user-friendly because it's the only way you can use it is just on here, there's no taskbar. And I liked with it at the bottom, the search menu, but oh, here's frequently visited. Uh, let's go to YouTube. So here's the YouTube page. You can also type in your own. And it will bring you here. So, that's Internet Explorer for you, the 10. But personally, I don't use it. And to exit these programs and everything, I use Alt F4. Now, here's where you get all the apps. This is the App Store. App Store. It's actually rather uh, kind of convenient. Now, how you download an app. Uh, let's look for one I haven't got yet that I like. What's this? Yeah. Uh. I don't know. Anyway, here's all the apps that you can get. There's many more, but these are just the top ones. Some of them cost money, a lot of them don't. So I guess all you do is, um, I don't know how you get these pay apps, like this one, but all you do is press buy, or we'll say install if it's a free one. So yeah, that's about all for the App Store. You can navigate through all these categories. Interesting. They're pretty useful. Skype app, which is kind of annoying that one, but it is what it is. F my life, Netflix, and for the people that um, have a hard time getting used to new windows and have a hard time operating them, there's this app, Cheat Keys and Tips. So, closing an app, you can let Windows handle when apps should be closed, but you should need to shut should you need to shut down an app, you can do it yourself. So basically, this is saying, grab here at the top of the window and pull down to the bottom, and it exits. Pretty user friendly, but I still like the Alt F4 way better.
many games, all apps, and here's a really good one that I, I really do like, YouTube MP3 and Video Downloader. So let's go to Video Manager, let's go to History. I could download them if I wanted to. But let's go here. And I can click. This one won't download. So. I guess not that one. But find one Let's go to country So, either save video or save music. This is just a song, so I'm not going to bother saving the video, so I'll just save music. So, start a download. And then, successfully download a media file. Now, to see this, just go to the top. Go to the start or the desktop music, and then here it is. This is a music playing um, app that comes with Windows 8. It's rather interesting, actually. It it works pretty good, and uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I like Windows 8. Now, I will encourage anyone to try Windows 8. It's not for some people, but for some, like me, I do love it. It's, it's a great Windows operating system. And, yeah, I suggest everyone tries it at least. But, I think that's all I have for now. If anyone has any requests for Windows 8 reviews or instructional videos, tell me and I will do them for you. And I'll show you how to navigate through. So, till next time, have a nice day, and I hope you enjoyed the review. Kind of a tutorial on Windows 8.